Hey guys, welcome to another Master That Riff lesson. Today I'm going to look at Straight Through the Heart uh, by Dio. Um, I was listening to a bit of Dio this week, so I thought this is one of my favourite riffs, why not look at it to play it? Cool bit of uh, classic uh, Vivian Campbell. So uh, I'm in standard tuning for this, and this is basically a riff based around kind of F sharp. But what Vivian Campbell's doing is instead of playing in the standard power chords, he's playing just these kind of little inverted kind of shapes. So what I'm going to be playing here is basically fourth fret of the A string and D string. Yeah. And I'm using my third and fourth fingers for that. I think watching the video that Vivian Campbell might kind of bar that with his fourth finger. I'm going to use third and fourth finger. So our first phrase sounds like this. Okay, so I'm playing this fourth fret of that A string and D string. Then I'm going to bar the second fret of the A string and the D string back to that fourth fret of the A and D. Then I'm going to do two, a second fret of the D and the G strings with the first finger barred again. And then back to the fourth fret of the A and D strings. So it's yeah. Picking wise, you might like do like down and a down up. And down down. Yeah. Then we have this little uh, percussive sound. So what he's doing is he's going to move to a B power chord here. So either we're holding the shape and we hear that kind of sound. I just kind of do a down up there. A percussive movement. And play this B power chord. Now, I find it interesting that Vivian Campbell, as I mentioned, he's batting with his fourth finger. And that's how I've always kind of played these sort of power chords. Rather than using first, third and fourth finger. Then this area of the neck, I tend to bat it with the fourth finger. So that's what I'm doing, but you might want to use first, third and fourth fingers. So obviously it's a B power chord, so I've got second fret A string with the first finger. And then I'm batting the fourth fret of the D and the G strings with the fourth finger there. Yeah. So we've got that percussive. That B power chord. And then we have a cool little uh, palm muted run. So we start it off by playing an open A string. Then palm mute two zero on the E string. And then we have this little pinch harmonic. I kind of bend. Now, when I first was transcribing this, I thought it might have been at the 4th fret. But watching Vivian Campbell play uh, with the last in line, uh, he doesn't really put that pinch harmonic anymore, but he definitely does that. Plays a bend at the 2nd fret. Now I've got uh, pretty heavy gauge strings on the, the low set. You've got heavy bottoms on here. So that's quite awkward to do with the 1st finger. So you might want to try that bend maybe with the 2nd finger or the middle finger and support it with the 1st finger. Because what you need to do is bend up a whole step very quickly, up and down, but with the pinch harmonic. And that's quite tricky to pull off at tempo. And I'm playing that uh, just in front of my bridge uh, humbucker there. Yeah, digging into that string to get that pinch harmonic. So basically we've done that. You've yeah, got the pinch harmonic bend up and down. Then I'm going to do 2 0, 2 0 on that A string twice. And then 2 0 on the E string. Yeah, all palm muted. So you have to do that pinch harmonic and then get straight into that 2 0, 2 0, 2 0. Um, so it's quite tricky to kind of positionally because it's close to, particularly in Les Paul, which of course Vivian Campbell was playing at that time, it's pretty close to the bridge for hand position. If you normally rest your heel and your the, your bridge here, you might find that your thumb's more in this area for pinch harmonic. We need to get back here to do it, okay? So from the B power chord, to this. Yeah. Then we've got another one of this. Just at the first bar. And then we do this. Okay. So this bit here is we do a quick second fret of the A and the D strings barred. And then to the fourth fret with the third and fourth finger there. The rest there. And then what we're basically doing is playing an A power chord. It's an F sharp power chord. Again, if you watch Vivian Campbell kind of play these days, he will play like an A power chord to an F sharp power chord there. On the recording though, it sounds like he's doing that and then playing 2nd fret of the, the E string, the F sharp note, with vibrato. So, I'm holding a kind of an A power chord shape and I'm basically doing an up down on that and it sounds like you hear the, the D and G strings, open A string and then you've got your 
second fret of the E string. That kind of thing. So it's quite a quick movement. And then in beat four of that bar, we're going to pick slide down before we repeat the riff. Okay. So those kind of two bars, something like this. Okay. And then the second repeat, we play everything as we did before. Yeah, and then we have our and then we go up to here. So I'm playing an E power chord now up at the seventh fret of the A string and ninth fret of the D and the G strings. Again, Vivian Campbell would borrow with the pinky, but I've noticed I'd use my third and fourth finger there. Yeah. But whatever works. Let that ring. And we're playing the open B and E strings with that chord there. And you have an up down up before the verse starts and you're back into Okay. So there you go. It's a classic uh, kind of eight bar riff, classic bit of deal. Um, as usual, if you want access to the Helix patch that I created for this or the kind of research or tone tips, uh, you could do it with your own gear uh, or access to the animated tab for this lesson, head over to the Master Guitar uh, Patreon group group and you'll get access to that as part of your kind of membership there and of course you get access to all the other stuff that's on there so go over and have a look and see if anything takes your fancy um as usual you can follow me on uh, instagram and facebook and twitter as well if you want to follow me on those kind of platforms and if this is your first time here if you're not subscribed and you want to see more of these kind of lessons plus more please uh hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell as well so you'll be kept up to date with any kind of lessons that I upload so thanks for watching guys, have fun with that, I'll see you soon.